Hello and welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Nice to have you here. And uh, uh, I am really excited to um, have my fourth, fourth live show. And by the way, I'm Marcus Retek. I'm the founder of Vavadzen.net, where I help you being successful with water vault and water features. What I'm going to show you today is a PVC plastic overflow channel. You can get in the tool market and actually really build a water wall with it after you've been through some challenges. And then I'm going to show you how you can uh, humify the air with a thread fountain, which I uh, recently, actually yesterday, delivered to a customer. And then I'm going to show you some genius, awesome sensors that are measuring not only the humidi humidity of the air and the temperature and the CO2, but also the pollution of the air. And I'm going to show you how you can maybe use that to improve your workspace and um, take care of your health. And by the way, what uh, my intention is, is to help you being successful with your water wall or wa with your water features. So if you have a project you would like to share with me and with the audience, I would be glad if I uh, could help you in the planning and maybe uh, help you overcome some challenges uh, you have faced when creating your water features. So please feel free to um, ask in the chat or uh, send me an email um, after you have registered at vavadzen.net. So, and by the way, hello Alexandra, I see you're watching. So I hope you can hear me. If yes, I would be uh, grateful if you just say yes, I can hear you. And uh, I'm gonna take a look at YouTube, okay, there's at the moment just one uh, user watching it, which is actually me, myself. Okay, so, um, yes, Alexandra, you can hear me, wonderful, thank you very much and thank you to have you here. And now let me show you the incredible PVC overflow channel with Marco Ries, one of our members, uh, has built himself um after he has been in a tool market and yes he did something which i wanted to do uh long time ago but he actually really did it so what you can see here is the overflow channel he has purchased in the tool market and uh this is a picture where it didn't work so first of all, maybe you can see it here at the side. You can see that the water film is uh, attracted to the middle of the glass plate and the sides uh, didn't get watered. This was the one problem. And the other problem, problem as you can see, is that um, the water almost also went uh, down at the back of the overflow channel. So. Um, Marco showed me those pictures and um, then I gave him some advice how to improve those and by the way what you can see here is what Marco uh, what Marco's profession is he is an artist and he is um, making art on mirrors mirrors so this is a mirror mirror and um, he has polish the picture inside it and he has a special system how to do that so if you are interested on in doing art on a mirror uh, please contact me I would be glad to uh, connect you with Marco Ritz who is as I said by the way a Vavad Zen business member and we're doing business water wall business together so this is the water wall he has created and as I said uh, he wasn't able to bring the water to the sides and um, 
then I have suggested him to use the plan which we have in our Vavad Zen uh, online portal and to make the sides as in the plan described and I want to show you what he did um, then he has made that so he didn't use the side parts which he found in the tool market but he used the side parts according to the plans we have in our online portal and also he has heightened the back wall of this overflow channel so that the water didn't drop at the back and as you maybe can imagine this is I don't know maybe thirty dollars or forty dollars which he had to invest and another thing just straight uh, in up front guys so if you build your own water wall you can use a PVC overflow channel if you want to really save money but I wouldn't recommend this if you do water wall business so please never never uh, deliver a PVC overflow channel to a customer because this is something which is uh, not as stable and as accurate as it would be if you would produce it with stainless steel so uh, but if you do it for your own or just for a short period of time or let's say for an exhibition um, you can use the system and um, okay what you see here are the different um, perspectives and here is a an area which is actually not so super secure because the water could find his way um, at this edge and then uh, move further to the back of the overflow channel and then drop down here so please don't do it like that you need really to follow the plans which you will find in uh, our free basic course and this is also something what Marco later has improved and I will show you that too so here you see the water wall when it was running and there is also some let's say well it's not an invention but Marco told me uh, that he was sitting in a cafe and it was raining and he was looking at the windows and he f saw that the frames of the windows were di uh, did, did direct the water and also did stick to the water and what then he and what he did then is he has taken a plastic profile at the edges to attract the water to the sides you can see it here and and here you here also and once the water had contact to this profile it stuck to the side and didn't um, move together to the center the only problem is here that the water also could go down here so I would have covered this to be sure that the water does not go where you don't want to uh, have it to go but in Marco's case it worked like that but <laughs> I, I wouldn't do it um, for a permanent installation and he also said that he wouldn't do that because yes you will you just you will have your peace of mind if you really take care that the water does not leave this area where you want to run it because if it goes down here then uh, you can have some water damage and this is one of the first and important things you want to avoid um, when creating a water wall so yeah this is what Marco did and uh, I must say <laughs> great job Marco cool thing and thank you also for sharing wonderful so my next topic uh, is a wonderful thread fountain which I have delivered yesterday to a company here in Bavaria and they have suffered from uh, dry air uh, actually the employees they did suffer it's just 10% humidity they have uh, in their office and this is really uh, dangerous or it's it's really 
bad if you just have 10% because then you get dry lips and you get sick you you get a flu because there are more bacteria in the air if the eye if the air is dry and this is why they have ordered uh, a thread fountain or let's say they have asked me to come and uh, I have suggested a thread fountain because a thread fountain um, was supposed to have the most effective humidification uh, ability and turns out I was right so this thread fountain has 230 nozzles it's 275 meters high and 250 meters wide and after 10 hours 10 hours uh, running um, it has already uh, evaporated 25 liters into the air which is round about uh, 60 liters evaporation per day uh, what this thread fountain can do and the cool thing is that it just has a very small uh, need of space so we just had to go 50 centimeters here in that in 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 this dimension um, and uh, I think that it's also so effective because the air really can move between the, the, the threads and um, also the threads themselves they give the water a lot of contact to the air and yeah I just wanted to show you what we've delivered the day before yesterday and really the uh, employees in this office they have been uh, very uh, excited which also made me pretty happy uh, they loved it and yeah it's just it's just a wonderful feeling if you deliver something what makes people happy and this was just what happened uh, yesterday so I'm very thankful for that um, and by the way this is not only going to um, help those people in this office to have uh, uh, less problems with uh, humidification uh, this um, uh, thread fountain is also going to clean the air um, and is also going to improve the well-being you know because you just feel good in uh, when you're close to floating uh, floating water okay um, and this is maybe a good transition to my next topic which I'm also pretty excited that um, I can uh, present this to you uh, this is uh, Cloud Garden from the Netherlands. It's a uh, startup which is, I, I believe, one and a half years on the market now, and they have developed a sensor which you can see here. By the way, this is the old design. Uh, Daniel told me, and he also showed me uh, the new design of this sensor. And the cool thing is that this sensor is not only measuring the temperature, the humidification, it's also measuring the CO2 and the VO, VOD uh, let me check if I'm correct uh, it's called no VOC v volatile organic compound so actually I would say it's um, it's the air's pollution so um, and this is what the sensor is also measuring and those guys have found out that um, plants are not only delivering oxygen but they're also cleaning the air of those um, let's say uh, small parts in the air which could uh, affect your health so um, that's why they also deliver um, green walls they have developed their own system which is uh, I think almost completely recyclable or a big part of it is recyclable and they have also developed a air cloud which is going to create a air stream uh, over the uh, green wall to uh, improve the I would say detoxication of the air through the plant 
and those guys they have found out that um, many offices because they have those sensors and they found out that many offices are suffering from dry air this is why they now also start to um, serve their customers with water walls and actually now in cooperation with Wawa Zen they are creating a water wall to uh, improve the humidification of of, a of, of uh, offices and for me it's really very exciting because in my experience I know that uh, water walls are not only hum humidifying the air they're also cleaning the air um, of toxic uh, particles um, I've had s really several experiences in that and um, so this is really going to be very interesting so um, I'm also getting a few sensors from them which I will install at some customers places not only to measure the humidification but especially to measure the um, detoxification of the air um, yeah so I will inform you as soon as we have the first measurements and results in mm, uh, measuring the benefits of a water wall so in my experience most people they buy water walls or thread fountains to because it's it's an eye catcher and it's it's for good feelings but what many people don't know that water walls and water features they have all those other benefits of detoxification of the air and the humidification and relaxing etc etc yeah and so uh, this is what I wanted to share with you today so please feel free to uh, contact Cloud Garden I'm sure they will be happy to help you with their product and this is also something which makes me happy because uh, their intention is really to help a lot of people and I'm sure there are pretty l a lot of people out there who are suffering of a uh, um, bad air uh, and climate in their office and as soon as they improve their uh, air they will be much more happy and healthier etc etc um, and as it happened to happen yesterday when I was uh, on Facebook I also saw this uh, post from TED about a scientist uh, Kamal Mietl uh, who has also made a test with plants and detoxification of the air and he has also had great results um, in cleaning the air and also in um, less people being sick and also in increasing of productivity etc etc so it's really good to have plants around you and uh, yeah we will find out how good it is to have a water wall around you so this is my those are my topics for today let me check if I have covered all I wanted to show you today yes and uh, now let me check if somebody is here with some questions no so um, if you're watching this for the first time my name is Marcus Wettig and my mission is to help you being successful with uh, water features water walls and I would be glad if you contact me with your project so I can support you um, you can get a free support for your project if you're willing to share it here in my live show so please um, if you send your email then uh, or if you register at wawazen.net uh, here then you will be informed when we're when I'm going to have the next live show and also you can access our free basic course in wawazen.net after you have registered um, and in this free basic course uh, we will teach you how to create a glass water wall in um, in a couple of lessons so this is when you have logged in I will just show you and we have five lessons and each lesson has uh, a couple of topics where we will sh where we show you step by step uh, with videos pictures and um, explanations uh, how to create a glass water wall like for example this one on the picture so please subscribe it's free and I'm sure you will benefit of it and um, I've also published at Amazon my first English 
uh, Kindle book, uh, DIY water walls, how to be successful with water walls. So please, if you're interested to build your own water wall or if you want to add water walls to your portfolio as an entrepreneur or if in your company, uh, I'm sure this book is going to be a good support for you. And um, what I want you to know is that we have also a program for entrepreneurs who want to make a business with water walls. So um, you can access a ton of know-how which I have uploaded online. You can find plans, manuals, contract uh, construction plans uh, in SolidWorks, 3D, 2D, etc., etc., where you can um, use already proven systems how to build a water wall. And also you can find um, information and, and de uh, sources about dealers, uh, what kind of pump technology we suggest, etc., etc. So, And you get support in sales. So uh, we can support you with videos, pictures and a brochure and also with a website so that you can start selling water walls f right from the spot. So I would be glad if um, I could support you with that. So if you are in a in a branch or in a business where you have customers who like to improve their environment by attractive eye catchers um, or if they want to improve their climate with water walls. So maybe this is uh, a good op opportunity to serve them and I would be really glad um, if you contact me so that I can show you uh, how we could work together. Yeah, so that's it from my part and if there's no questions anymore, uh, let me check. Then um, I say thank you for watching this and uh, please take a look at the video below uh, at the links which I will put in the video below uh, below the video so you can uh, take a look at our free basic course or you can take a look at uh, Cloud Garden um, or at this uh, video from Ted. Thank you and I hope you have enjoyed the show. Oh, thank you very much. For the pleasure. And uh, then see you soon. Bye bye.